Remember, remember the fifth of December, Scientology's treason and plot. I know of no reason why Lisa McPherson should ever be forgot. You say the misuse, but I don't know if you're aware that there was a plan in 1955 in this country, Ted, to repeat what was done in Russia. There was going to be a Siberia USA set up on a million acres in Alaska to send mental patients. They were going to lessen the commitment laws. You could basically get into an argument with somebody and be sent up there. This sounds very odd. Nobody's ever heard about it. That's in no small part thanks to the Church of Scientology. People say in the United States that these things can happen here. Uh, mental screening that only took place in the old Soviet Union or communist Vietnam or those places. It's not true. I want to talk in some detail about the Citizens Commission for Human Rights or the CCHR. The CCHR was created in 1969, founded by the Church of Scientology. If you were president, would you work to phase out the IRS? <laughs> Immediately. Anonymous. The following is important information concerning the history of Scientology and the Ron Paul campaign. In a 2008 interview on Blunt Talk Radio a representative from Texas contacted Ron Paul with concerns about the Church of Scientology, specifically Scientology's tax-exempt status. Ron Paul's reply was read on the air. Posted on the site there in Texas where they're trying to outlaw Scientology at the, at, from the RNC. So I'm going to try and bring them on, and, and hopefully they are who they say they are. Well, there, I, I will tell you that there are multiple chairs from the precincts down there that do have the power to do that, that are in anonymous, so it could very well be. <clears throat> yes. Uh, hello? Yes. Is this maybe? Yes, this is maybe. Um, oh, good. I was the uh, Galveston County delegate yesterday. Who, yes, that's uh, presented great. The resolution. Tell us about that. Yes. Um, well, I... I was uh, brought in as a delegate under the Ron Paul people. 